Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutomash.com. In this session, we will explain you about the theory behind resources and its types in Primavera Basics. Resources are the major part of every project. Deployment of resources determines how fast you can finish a project. Less resources takes more time to finish project and more resources drives the project to finish faster. Also, resources have a major part in consuming cost, so you should be very smart in creating and assigning them. In every industry, resource requirement for activities are based on productivity. So here we go for an example that I took from my experience. Let's say for an activity of manual excavation to do 100 cubic feet, you require two labors. Similarly, to do a 170 kilogram of slab reinforcement, you require one fitter and 1.5 helper. And to do a 5 square meat footing foam work, you require one carpenter and 1.5 helper. So this kind of productivity can be arrived based on the tradesman output. So you can increase or decrease the activity duration by assigning resources into it. For example, let's take an activity, fixing of 12 number of architrave. So to do this activity within 4 days you require 1 carpenter and 1 helper. And to do the same activity in 2 days you require 2 carpenter and 2 helper. So hope you understand how this productivity of resources depends upon the duration of activities. Now let's see how resource loading works in Primavera. In real time, the case is entirely different from how Primavera loads resources. Let's say in your company, you can supply maximum of 5 masons per day. In Primavera, we call it as maximum units per time. And let's say each mason charges $50 per day. In Primavera, we call it as price per unit. And let's say there is an activity called as internal plastering that to be completed within 10 days. This 10 is called as duration in Primavera and to finish the activity in 10 days you have assigned 2 masons per day. That's the productivity. This is budgeted units per day in Primavera. So to finish the activity is 10 days, 2 masons works per day for 10 days makes 20 units of mason work. This is called as budgeted units. So the total cost incurred becomes 20 times 50 that makes thousand dollars that is budgeted cost in Primavera. So this is how Primavera works with resources. This part is called as creating resources and another part is called as assigning resources. So hope you understand how resource loading works in Primavera. Now let's see the types of resources in Primavera. In Primavera there are three types of resources that is labor which is human resources and non-labor which is machineries and power tools and another one is materials which is consumables. So these are the basic things that you need to understand before you go into resources. In the next session we will explain you about creating and assigning resources. Hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you.